Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is still Mr. Orange, yeah that's my name and welcome to another preview video about some cool upcoming games on Steam. So do you, do you know who this is? I guess not. So this is a very very interesting brand new game that I just found on Steam and I want to share this with you. So the name of the game is Draugen, Dragon, so something like this depends on the pronunciation and Dragon is a single player first person fjord noir mystery set in 1920s Norway. Explore a picturesque coastal community in your search for your missing sister accompanied by your gregarious and enigmatic young war. So okay a lot of uh, literature and uh, words there and uh, let's see let's see uh, yeah, let's dive a little bit into this game and find out uh, what this game is about so awards co-founded by the creative european program of the european union developed with support from the norwegian film institute so you see there are some some yeah some sort of uh, subsidies money behind this red thread games though they were developing dreamfall chapters before so there's no other game actually here and, and I have to admit I really really like the style so I really like the graphics it looks very very nice and I would say not losing now any time so let's jump into a trailer and watch it together the water's cold it's a fjord you're not going swimming Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call me- Edward! Edward Charles Harden! So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? Grovik. She's there. How can you know for sure? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about- but that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. Something drew her here. Where is everyone? It's like a dead land. As though its soul has departed. Her scarf. I'd know it anywhere. Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. Edward. They murdered a child? What does that say? God forgive me. We will find her. Betty's fine. She's a tough cookie. Tougher than you, teddy bear. I dreamed of Betty. She was in the garden, and she called for me. I'm not alone. Right, absolutely mind-blowing graphics. I, did you see the graphics? It reminded me a little bit about, about Skyrim actually, so very, very nice. All right, what else ha do we have as information here? So from the studio that brought you Dreamfall chapters, I said it already, and the creative team behind The Longest Journey. Longest Journey, also a very really nice game. And The Secret World, The Secret World I didn't really like so much. Comes a first person psychological mystery set in the 1920s in Norway. And it, yeah, <laughs> definitely in Norway it looks like Skyrim. I'm, I'm actually pretty much surprised. So, ah, I shouldn't be surprised, I mean, it's Norway. <laughs> It's the North, the North folks. So, the year is 23. You play Edward Charles Harden, an American traveler who's come to Norway to find his missing sister. But you're not alone. At the very, at the every step of the way, Edward's accompanied by his ward, Lissy, a gregarious, independent, enigmatic young woman. Together, you must explore the scenic coastal community nestled amongst the fjords and the mountains of rural Norway in your search for Edward's sister and unearth the darkness that lies beneath the picturesque surface. So Dragon is in development, will be released in 2019. So we have here May 2019 already, so this is a, a little bit older. 
uh, text, so key features. I'm not alone. Explore your twenties coastal Norway. Interact with your companion Lissy through a realistic and dynamic dialogue system. Experience a thrilling tale through the eyes of an increasingly unreliable narrator. Find your own path through a cinet, cinet, cinetic setting that changes with the weather and Edward's mental state. A story about what lies beneath. P piece together a gripping narrative with unexpected twists and turns and then additional features a beautiful original musical score from award-winning composer Simon Poole, Dreamfall, Secret World, etc. written by Ragnar Tornquist and designed and developed by the team behind Dreamfall chapters fully voiced in English with motion capture design so pretty pretty nice pretty cool and i i would say we also have still time to uh, take a look at the second trailer so i don't know if it's going to be like the first one but let's jump into it immediately Absolutely breathtaking and mind-blowing. I'm, I'm totally in love with this game, I have to admit. So I'm totally in love with this game. Very, very cool. Okay, let's... Yeah, I, I put it now on my wish list and I follow it. And I would uh, recommend you to do the same. So check out uh, the link in the description of my video. And now we're going to click very quickly on the discussion board. What we're going to find out. So Lizzie is lesbian and his sister's girlfriend. <laughs> Trailer doesn't make any sense. Not a horror game anymore. The trailer is awesome. Check how they handled the previous game. It's releasing next month. Explore the waters. Polish translation. Can't wait for this. So what, what does this person want to say? After five years of being funded, the backers are still waiting for extra rewards. Think twice before putting your money if they offer an early access. Yeah, Dreamfall chapters... Uh, this took very long. This took very long. I have to admit this too. The game looks very unrealistic. The girl is smiling and dancing while searching for her sister. Does not make sense at all. I would skip this game. So, some salty comments. Some salty comments on this game, but I wouldn't say I, I like it. Uh, for, for me, it's definitely a very interesting concept. It looks good. Uh, Dreamfall Chapters uh, is an interesting game. Was I enjoyed I enjoyed what I played. I have to admit I didn't finish it, but uh, yeah, this game might be interesting for every each person out there that likes Edit Finch, Gone Home, also Lesbian Story, uh, or some walking simulators. Yeah, it's on my wish list. So what about you? Okay, thank you very much for watching this video, my friends. So see you the next time.